<laughs> For what? Well, if you're going on a camping trip, it could be an exciting venture, but you can still have fun right here at home in your own backyard with a few things. That's right. Ashley Morgan from Unglued is here. Now, the reason we call her Auntie Ashley is because every person wants her as this their is aunt. Can yes, you imagine relative. just going to her house and like doing all this fun stuff all the time? So, so. tell my brother to get on that. Because no. <laughs> then I can be that person hint, for hint. somebody. Yes. Hint, hint. How about we just adopt Christy and I as your niece and nephew and that way we'll, yes. we'll make it all good. So, we can just play with back. these things all day. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So we have six camping inspired DIYs to do. Some you bring camping with you, some are to bring camping into your home. Okay. So we're going to start with you, Chris, today. We have our DIY bug spray because that's important. So you get a cute little thing like this, a little okay. spray deal. And I have it halfway filled with water right now. And then what I'm going to have you do is we're going to take this witch hazel and you get to pour it into there. Okay. <laughs> uh, we want it to be not completely full, but closer to full. And I didn't find a funnel, so you just get to test that. that. That's perfect. There you go. And then you can set that aside. And then we have two essential oils. So there's citronella and lavender that we're going to work with. Nice. And if you could just start to shake some uh, citronella, we want at least like 10 drops in there of citronella essential oil. And if you look online, that if you don't have these essential oils, there are other blends you can do okay. to okay. get the mosquitoes away. Okay, that was like 50. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a super potent one. Exactly. So the bugs will definitely run away from this one. And that's good there. So we have lavender is that one. <laughs> I you can smell them from here. <laughs> I don't love citronella, but it works. So you shake it up, really? and oh, then you've you got bug lavender. spray. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, you can use mint, bergamot, other ones. Um, your goal is that you're doing a natural bug spray. It doesn't mm -hmm. have DEET in it, right? So it's not quite as intense, but it should work well. <laughs> and you can actually interchange vodka with your witch hazel, I found out. But that Whoa. didn't seem super kid appropriate. So right. I just thought I would Good mention it. <laughs> right, yes. We got to think about the kids. Um, and then next, we have what I have in front of us here is a sage stick. Um, it, people are buying these as dried to smolder in their home for aromatherapy and purposes like that. But we're going to make one with sage and mint today um, to put next to your fire pit. So does this work? Like, <laughs> it this works. Burn, so like, it's, it's called well, it's a mosquito green. bomb, the way that we're doing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine sprigs of mint and sage and mint is actually meant to work pretty well to get mosquitoes away. Um, and so the wonderful thing about this, thank you, Christy, is that it's natural. If you have it in your garden, you would just be able to pluck it out of your garden and do this. You would then take a relatively natural, uh, like hemp or something like that. I'm going to do this a little bit rough. But you would just start to wind it around in the direction mm. of your leaves. And your goal is to not have too many flyaways. And so you would keep wrapping this up until it becomes like our completed one here. You can let it dry for a week if you want to, and then you would light the end on fire so it'll smolder next to your campfire and keep uh, bugs away and also smell delicious. You can also do it while it's green like this, and you don't necessarily even have to light it on fire. You just set it next to your campfire pit. And then you've got your own mosquito bomb wow. or the super trendy smudge stick going on too. That's awesome. Smudge stick. Smudge stick. <laughs> And then next in the middle here, Chris is going to complete a fire starter that you we're going to try. You already started a fire here in the start. studio. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see we have one lit, so it actually works. I'm going to very carefully pour in some soy wax. Now there's a million different ways that you can make a fire starter. We're doing it as a candle form because it'll stay lit while your campfire is going on. And then if you could put a piece of hemp in there, okay. <laughs> you could also use, I have a normal candlestick, you could use that instead. We're just going to center it and lay it to the side. And then you can start to put in cloves. We've got cinnamon sticks. We've got pine cones. That actually that. It smells really good. I can smell it, it from fantastic. here. Yes. Same idea. We would also drop some essential oils like our citronella and lavender and things into that. Let it harden. You can either undo the cupcake liner when you're about to use it, especially if you're using it as a normal candle. Yeah. <laughs> um, otherwise, you can leave it wrapped and put it in the fire. Light it like you just did in there, and then so it'll help great. start your fire as long as you have a little bit of kindling in it as well. So wow. this will burn longer than your average fire starter, which is why it's also nice. Perfect. And then moving awesome. along to Christy here, we are going camping next. <laughs> and we want to drink coffee because that is important. Yes, wakes you up. So we're going to make this super adorable little uh, coffee bag that you can take camping with you so you can have fresh coffee each morning. Mm -hmm. So we've got this single serve coffee liner that I'm going to let you hold here. And then you're going to shovel in two tablespoons of coffee grounds 
These are coarse grounds, which is key so that you can make a really good cup of campfire coffee. This is insanely simple, but I think it's super adorable. So you can make a bunch of these if you're going camping or just for fun. Yes. <laughs> and then you're gonna squeeze the top and tie this around there. And then you have this wonderful uh, campfire K-cup for yourself. And you can make a really cute mug like we have here that we'll be doing for late night craft party that says happy camper. Happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> and after you tie that, you would then uh, put some hot boiling water into your campfire mug that's super adorable with your really cute plaid thermos like we have here. <laughs> and then you would just drop that wonderful little single serve coffee that oh, you've got going great. on. Drop it in. You betcha. <laughs> I'm gonna brew you some coffee, Chris, Thank to wake you up so in the much. morning. <laughs> And, and it's what like I a tea think, bag. Yes. Yeah. What would make it really cute is if you have these little single serve dairy or non dairy creamers, your little sugars, a little stir stick. Everything ready to go in there. And you put it in an airtight Ziploc bag, bring it camping with you, let it steep a few so minutes. Great. And you've got your campfire coffee going Woo! on. I, I think love it's that. adorable. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And then next, we bring camping into our home with these Yay. over here, our s'mores pops. <laughs> um, so what I've already done here is on our United States of America, we have our refrigerated pie crust that I cut up. So mm -hmm. I just bought two pie crusts, made a bunch of these. I laid out some uh, Hershey's, just four of those, cut this with a pizza cutter. And now if you could sprinkle some graham cracker crumb directly onto our chocolate there. These are really tasty. They look incredible. <laughs> you did some taste testing? I did last night. Okay. It was wonderful. <laughs> Auntie approved. <laughs> yes. And then we'll put a, like about six marshmallows piled on top of that. Because then our next step is going to be putting this um, empty pie crust square on top of that. And we also want to put a popsicle stick in it because then you can display them super cute and kids <laughs> could eat them off the popsicle stick. I can only fit five on there. That's good. Kay. That was a smart call right there. <laughs> and then you can put that on top and we want to also sneak in our popsicle stick on one end oh, of that. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Totally good. And I would, yes, like that. <laughs> and then you just squish the sides down. Uh, it's also, if you have enough slack, it's kind of nice to also kind of squeeze this up because as it bakes, it could ease out a little bit. Ooze out. Ease out. Ooze. Ooze. Um, all you need to do once you're set with this, you could also do the little crimping like uh, with your fork around the edges. Oh, yeah. That kind of that kind of deal. You definitely want Oops. it to be, or if you want to flip it over. Nope, that was yeah. I, I like it like that. <laughs> a, a rough s'mores. Yes. Rough camping you over You could here. just be a doop -a doo like that. Oh, okay. You know, make it fancy. You would brush this with egg whites, sprinkle a little granulated sugar on top of it, bake it at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes, let it cool off so you don't burn your mouth. And then Look you can enjoy that. it. Oh my God. And isn't that cute? That is phenomenal. <laughs> you could do it without the stick, <clears throat> and it would almost be like a Pop Tart yes. instead. Wouldn't that be fun? That is so cute. Camp breakfast. Are you going to try it, Larson? Or you're... I think I better. <laughs> yeah. Here and goes. these ones were made last night, so they're a little firmer. <laughs> a little what? A little firmer a little right firmer. now. Oh. Yes. So you could uh, put it in the microwave to let your you know, marshmallow be a little bit more oozy. What a great idea. <laughs> and it's this delicious pie crust. They're messy. They're messy. I love like that. s'mores should be. They're for outdoors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then They're you got pretty, chocolate sauce good. for it too. You can dip it in. Yes. And... Oh, yes. That is also for our, our last mm. cocktail oh. we will talk about as well. Okay. So if we want to finish up Stop with eating. that. <laughs> this is a three ingredient s'mores cocktail that everyone needs to make because it's delicious. And you could bring it camping with you, or if you're doing like an outdoor party or backyard party with a campfire, you should probably just make it. So right. what I already did, which if we have time, you could even do yourself, is if you want to dip the top of this guy into the chocolate, and then you're going to dip it into my rough cut up smushed graham crackers, like boop a doop boo like that. <laughs> That's boop, great. Boop, boop. And now technically this is a martini, so you'd want to shake it in a cocktail shaker, but we're going to skip that part today. Um, and just put it there and then in yes, you could drop a piece of ice into that And the uh, our ice all or melted maybe together. It's all together. Either way is good We just want it to be cold and a little bit diluted because we're using cream <laughs> There we go with it perfect And so then you're gonna play our bartender. We've got this nice little measuring cup here You want to take want? the marshmallow vodka first? She's gonna do three ounces So there's two ounces that fit in there. So we need to do it a little bit up to the top and then um, we'll pour it directly into one of the glasses. And then if you don't mind adding a tiny bit more. My husband has this nice little ounce 
thingamabobber. That is Love so that. cute. That's good. So three ounces total is what we want of our marshmallow vodka. Oh, nice. And you're going to make two. Oops. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it's oh, like, wow, sorry. is there six ounces? That's Whoa. great. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. And then we're going to take our half and half. And we want to do another three ounces. Okay. And then we're going to end with chocolate liqueur. And the recipe that I was following called for Godiva, Godiva chocolate. Godiva. Godiva. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's just too fancy for this. So I didn't get it. I got Trader Vic's uh, chocolate liqueur. It was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> I was like, just in case this isn't the greatest cocktail. But it ended up being delicious. So you really could buy the fancier stuff. And then I'll I'll sneak that from you. you can, <laughs> yes. I can't do that. This is the vodka cap anyway. <laughs> I promise I didn't take any presets. <laughs> and then yes, you have. Oh, you know what? I could start lighting our How stuff. How much of this? So an ounce and a half of that. So okay. almost two ounces. You can fill it up to in there. While you're doing that, I'm gonna prep our uh, marshmallow. If we've got, we just are gonna go for it. Um. What I think would be really great, and then technically you'd want to stir that up. And right. I used jars that are a little bit larger than normal. <laughs> and this is our our marshmallow we just cooked. Yes. You put it on top, yes. ready to go. Exactly. So you would use that as your topper. There's these milk straws you can also use. You can use mm. bourbon marshmallows. You'd want to stir this up or shake it up. So cute. I know. And then you're and then you're set. Don't forget to check out Unglued to find out more about their late night craft parties. You can check them out on Facebook, on Pinterest, on the, the internet, places. everywhere. Thank you, Ashley. Yes, thank you guys. She's making that one for me. And we'll, we'll have finish more up with that. when we come back. <laughs>